Hey, Mom. Yes, you. Why fuss and fret about dinner? Why not have it right here? Yes, this drive-in offers everyone in the family a real picnic treat for dinner. We've got delicious sandwiches with all the trimmings and your other dinner favorites, plus whatever you want to drink, hot or cold. Come early before the show starts, or eat while you're being entertained, or at intermission time. So why fuss? Give your family a tasty dinner at this drive-in. The sandwich is practically an American institution. It is a basic essential for lunch boxes, parties, and picnics. As far as these boys are concerned, well, hamburgers and hot dogs are their idea of a really good meal. But there are sandwiches and sandwiches. When Sally Gasco and her mother bring guests home for a late snack after a movie, they have something special in the way of a sandwich in mind. Sally calls it tuna rare bit. Let's watch how she makes it. Welcome to your favorite drive-in theater. Thanks, folks. And once again, welcome back. symbol of all women, creeds, and races. I am the hopes and dreams of all mankind. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send them tempest toss to me. I lift the lamp beside the golden door. The waters of the deep restlessly tumbling at my feet bear past my sky-flung arm the persecuted and oppressed, the crushed in spirit. To them I am a symbol, their eyes haunted and fear-ridden are filled with a thousand agonizing memories. But as they look upon me, a newfound courage gleams. And in their hearts, surging almost to the bursting point with hope, are born new men and women, Americans. Into the man-made canyons of Manhattan they poured, Many were there already, but many more were welcome. They joined the steel of these towers. They carved subways beneath these avenues. Into the tall forest they came with axe and saw and wedge. They knew how to fell a tree to the line and how to spare the nearby sapling. On the great plains there were early settlers. In Dakota, they dwelt at peace with the Indian, and in Texas with the Mexican. They organized the counties and gave their names to villages and cities. 
In the mountain states, they prospected and mined. They shared with the native born a continent of treasure, of metals precious and useful. To the vineyards of the Pacific coast, they brought their knowledge of the grape and put it to good use. So they came and so they spread with hungry eyes and hearts, all seeking for what I, liberty, promised. You see them, the foreign-born who lately came to me, traversing the streets of my cities boldly, openly. But can you point them out? In what manner do they differ from you or your neighbor? And their children. What one of them has been denied the rights and privileges of my own? When you see them at play, carefree as children the world over should be, can you honestly say, this one is alien? That one has been denied anything? Look upon the marketplaces. Consider the storefronts. Where I am is the invitation to all. Enter and buy no matter who you are. Where I am not is the placard of discrimination. Where in all my land is the law forbidding the free enterprise of the man who seeks to better his lot by working harder, selling cheaper, or improving the product of his trade or industry? Where the list of registered voters posted outside the polling place that lacks the names of descendants of all nationalities, the names of believers in all creeds. All these things and more, much more, have I pledged in my name, liberty. To my adopted children I have said and pledged, here the rich soil yearning to bring forth the fruits of your labor, yours to have and to hold. There the mill, the plant, the factory where skilled workers produce a nation's necessities and luxuries and also carve their own futures. Would you enter the learned profession? My great universities offer all of you their degrees. You may be a lawyer, an architect, at cost only of your time and ambition. Now let us see for ourselves the works and achievements of the foreign born. We ride upon a great railroad system, founded and built almost single-handed by an untutored immigrant boy. Have I, liberty, kept faith with all who trusted me? Ask the least of independent tradesmen or ask his cousin who operates the huge mill, employing thousands of fellow Americans. Ask the keeper of the roadside stand the next time you stop for a hot dog. Ask the merchant who operates the great chain of department stores. Interrogate the little group at the crossroads store or survey the million opinions of a teeming city. Talk with the unskilled worker on the farm or converse with the athlete training to win a championship. Go to the well-informed, to the policeman enforcing my laws without fear or favor. Ask the editor of this uncensored newspaper and his reporters and writers. They can tell you, there's the right to fair pay. There's are the freedoms, freedom of speech, the right to education, to equality in the courts of justice, to rest and recreation in the nation's playgrounds, to adventure. Yes, the adventure of progress. O Tannenbaum, gesungen vom Nebequartett Edison Records. Uh. 